Hey guys, before we start the video, we are hiring people who are good at PvP, scavenging, or building. And if you believe that you have one of those skills, you can contact me through Discord via BM. Or you can just ping me in some Discord server that I don't know. And hey, editor Big PP around here. I just realized that there is 91.7% of my viewers who hasn't subscribed to my channel. All you have to know is that this is free and it is, this is not mandatory. But I will highly appreciate if you guys subscribe and like. Thank you. Yes, you are hearing my voice right now. It may be a fast voice reveal, but it's needed in this type of videos. Because this is a story video, or actually the first story video of the boss.io. These story videos are what you commonly see in Rust related content, and I want that to happen here in the boss.io. Considering that both games are similar in a way that the boss.io seems to be the IO version of Rust, according to some people. With all of that said, though, this video will show you the reality of playing this game. The videos that you see often about this game are the good moments. But before all of those moments are the struggles to obtain it. Devas.io, our beloved game. Well, hey, this is my first time fucking using my voice, and I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea or a bad idea. Honestly, I think it's a bad idea considering that there's a lot of people around here in Devas.io that are fucking hackers and can use food. Shut the fuck up, Jab. I'll be. I got this. And you'll see later on that this will be. The last euphoria before the downward spiral. One more. One more. Don't die. Don't die yet. Don't die, guy. Don't die yet, guys. Please. Please. One freaking more. Oh, I think it died out. Oh, you Great. 
Alright, to make things clear, I am not making the middle axe due to several reasons. One of which is that when I got to level 18, I will get the middle axe together with other stuff that I might need for the speedrun in itself. So, it's a win-win when I get to level 18 or level 20. what the player base call a reset because this resets the goal timer of which after one day of you surviving the normal goal will attack you two days will now be the fast goal and three days the explosive goal and so on this resetting of the goal timer will able to ensure me to be semi safe on smelting the materials that i need for the tesla machine and laser sub and what i mean semi safe this is what i meant random guy literally ruined two gas of mine inside of the smelter, gave me some PvP, and then left the scene like it, it, it fucking didn't happen. And then another guy came in like minutes after that, and he was dying of radiation. And also had a laser sub of which I didn't know that he has, of which I am speedrunning for. 
with the laser stub on my hands, I am confused on what to do considering that I already got what I need. After that devastating loss, I have gotten into a team in order for me to get that perfect play.
this point, my team is currently being hunted down by a savage team, and that's why I haven't joined them because I might be hunted down as well. I cannot take this shit. Guy is just annoying. What the fuck? What's wrong with you, bro? Get the fuck out of here, bro. What the hell are you doing? To be fair, I did almost the exact same thing to the guy with a laser sub and was dying of radiation just for it. Anyways, at this point, I was really trying to put it together, but I was struggling to do so. Especially all of these losses in my back. Still, I tried to speedrun laser in Sydney. But after realizing that Sydney is so freaking boring due to the lack of people, I decided Shit. to go to Atlanta instead. Seems pre-blocked to be honest. To be honest, it seems pre-blocked. Just 
looking at the leaderboard is brief. Oh shit, did not get blocked. Okay. Change my mind. in a dilemma. I don't know whether to go outside or stay, but if I just stay, I will not able to get the resources that I need for the laser sub. But if I go outside, I'll be able to get the resources that I need, but in the process of doing so, I'm at risk of dying because of goals hunting me down. So, I made a solution. Rather than using my main account, I use my alt account to farm the resources that I need. being hunted down by a guy named Funded, and this will later prove to be indeed crucial.
So my friend Eduardo got the entire kit from Funded. Because Funded is apparently getting off after killing me. Though it did not have any ammo which is a disadvantage that will lead to something later on. But for now we were trying to find someone to kill and make a victim of because we were tired of getting killed and now we're the ones that will kill. Well, still getting killed though. Thank you. 
this is the end of the video. I know, I know that there was a lot of stupid mistakes around here, around there, and I admit that. But being better at something requires you to be persistent and not give up easily by those stupid mistakes. Soon those stupid mistakes will be turned into a godly play. It just needs you to give time in sharpening your craft. That's when the struggles will turn into blessings. Moments actually. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now.